Amy from CraftyMcFangirl.com. Thanks for joining me for another superhero themed craft. Today's project is inspired by Deadpool. We are going to turn a paper lantern into Deadpool's face. All of the materials for this project are linked in the description below the video, both on YouTube and at CraftyMcFangirl.com. You will need a round paper lantern. The one I used is 10 inches in diameter. A deep red paint, black paint, white paint, and paint brushes. If you want to light the lantern up, you will need a hanging lantern cord. If you're going to use the lantern for decoration instead of as a light, you can add optional swords. Download the pattern from CraftyMcFangirl.com. You will need scissors, a piece of cardstock, cardboard or foam board, glue or Mod Podge mat, and a glue gun and glue sticks. Start with a reference picture of Deadpool and a white paper lantern. Look at the wire hanging hook on the top of the lantern to make sure you're working in the center. Then draw a pencil outline of Deadpool's face on the lantern. Draw very lightly so that you don't puncture the fragile paper. Once you have the face drawn the way you want it, go over your pencil lines with a felt pen or marker. This will give you a good guide for your paint. Next it's time for the red paint. I wanted a deep red color but didn't have it, so I mixed equal parts bright red and wine red together to get the deep red of Deadpool's suit. Try to paint the lantern in broad strokes without overlapping too much. If you're going to use the lantern as a light, when you turn on the bulb, you will be able to see all of your brush strokes through the paper. So be as neat as possible with the red paint. I found it easiest to work in a circular motion by spinning the lantern. Let the red paint dry completely before continuing. Next, fill in Deadpool's mask with black paint. Let the black paint dry completely before continuing. The final step is to paint Deadpool's eyes white. Once the white paint has dried, your project is done. But if you want to use your lantern for decoration and you're not going to put a light bulb inside, there's one more optional part of the project. You can add Deadpool's katanas. Download the pattern at CraftyMcFangirl.com and print it out. Cut out both of the katana handles. Glue them to a piece of cardboard, cardstock, or foam board. You can use Mod Podge or any kind of glue you want. I used a heat gun to speed up the drying time. Once the sword handles are completely dry, cut them out and hot glue them to the back of the lantern. And your project is done. To make a light, just add a hanging lantern cord and light bulb. Or you can hang your Deadpool decoration from a wire or string. Thanks so much for watching guys. If there's another Deadpool craft project that you'd like to see, just leave me a message in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time.